Hello, in this video we're going to compare and contrast finding the greatest common factor and the least common multiple of monomials. So in this case we're going to just work through several problems, several informal problems. Why don't we try 12x squared and 28x. Now I'm not telling you whether we're going to find the GCF and the LCM, we're actually going to find both. Now the technique that we learned before was to factor, but try to pay attention to a common factor. Now if you recognize there's a common factor, in this case I can see very clearly that there's a 4 in both of these. This one is 4 times 3, this one is 4 times 7. Also I can see a, a common factor in the form of x. There's an x times x, and here's just an x. So the techniques are really similar in finding a greatest common factor and least common multiple. So remember that when we we're finding the greatest common factor, we looked for something that was common to all the monomials. So 4 is common to all the monomials, and then an x is common to all the monomials. So the GCF is in fact 4x. But what about the LCM, the least common multiple? Well, the least common multiple says that we need to have all of the factors. But again, we start with a 4x. We start with what's in common. So we have a 4 times x, but we also need all these other pieces. We're going to need another x, okay, and we need this x over here. We also need a 3, and we also need a 7, times 3 times 7. So to multiply this in a convenient fashion, 3 times 4 is 12, 12 times 7 is 84. So the least common multiple is 84x squared. All right, so we have the GCF and the LCM. But I really want to emphasize that the centerpiece of both of these is actually common factors. Let's just do another one. Say 15x cubed y and 20xy squared. So again, what if you were asked to find the GCF? Or if you were asked to find the LCM, the technique is the same. Let's factor this thing down. Try to pay attention to where the common factors are. I see a 5 times 3 over here. I see a 4 times 5. Just trying to change the order a little bit. Here I have x times x times x. You don't have to write it out all the time. Just sometimes it's a nice visual. So for the sake of this lesson, I'm writing it out longhand. And then we have y and then over here we have a y times y. So now we're going to find our common factors. So here's a 5. 5 is in common to both of them. Here's an x common to both of them. And here is a y common to both of them. So I have a 5xy. So my GCF, my greatest common factor, is a 5xy. But my LCM, my least common multiple, is we're going to start with the 5xy, right? 5xy, and then we're going to multiply the other factors that we need. For example, we need a 3 and we need a 4. So we're going to multiply this by 3 and by, and by 4. And we also need a pair of x's. So let's multiply this by x squared. And we also need one more y times y. So if you multiply all these things together, 3 times 4 is 12, 12 times 5 is 60, and now we have an x times an x squared, that's an x cubed, and here's a y times y, which is a y squared. So my least common multiple is 60 x cubed y squared, and my greatest, greatest common factor is a 5, a 5xy. Five Right? So I hope this highlighted the differences for you and the similarities in finding these two, uh, these two techniques, the greatest common factor and the least common multiple of monomials.